shout out to Toke the Poet for, uh, he posted a short, or he showed this technique, it was used in the song. It is awesome. Played A major 7 and G flat minor 7. And uh, that's when I learned about uh, the relative minor. G flat is the relative minor of A. And what that means is that all the notes in G flat, in the G flat minor scale, are the same as all the notes in the A major scale. So, a uh, quick and easy way to find the uh, relative minor of uh, the major chord you're, you're playing is just by lowering the seventh a whole step. And this is now a sixth chord, a major sixth chord. That's one way you could do it. Another way, which is the way I learned first, is to just go down three half steps. But, uh, knowing it's the six just makes it uh, way easier. Uh, thank you, Toke. You helped me out a lot. It's 420 blaze hour, so. Yo. Recording some piano while I'm waiting for my uh, computer to charge up again. Died while editing, but thankfully I'm uh, used to that, so I'm saving constantly. That's cool. D7 first inversion to F7. To E7.
that's not even what I was psyched about. It's another tangent. So, A major 7, G flat minor 7, relative minor, and then the chord that works with this, I don't know if you would call it the relative major, or uh, whatever, it is uh, E major 7. Sorry, D major 7. Here's another tangent. Playing both uh, both chords in root position. Uh, this is a D major 7. If you then take this shape and uh, move it up, but it's not an inversion where you bring the pinky up to the the first note you played. No, no, no. You move it up and uh, play the second with it. Oh, that's what it is. That's the second of D major 7. And you could play the octave, or this would also be the third. fourth sounds awful that is the fourth <laughs> I don't know what to tell you Oh, right, um... That's weird, that's a, I guess an A9 chord, wouldn't be a sus2 chord. Ah, maybe it would be. Maybe it's an A sus2 flat5 6 chord. Oh wait, you know what, it's actually just a, uh, It's actually just a B7 chord.